lower prices for two more years, Bush administration offers more help, the big risk in the foreclosure risk. Next on Real Estate News You Can Use. Yeah. Welcome to Real Estate News You Can Use. I'm Ruben, this is Keith. What's going on? Lord Carberry to you, please. <laughs> Lord Carberry. Yes. You enjoying the uh, nice spring weather we're having? Oh my gosh, you know, the weatherman, you know, uh, as your brother mentioned to me today, how can they actually, uh, you know, how do they get? Be, how do they get paid? I know. Seriously, they, they, it's so off. It was supposed to pour out all day today. It was supposed to be in the forties. It uh, reached at least seventy so far. It's sunny. It's beautiful. It's it's just like a beautiful spring day. That kind of that kind of reminds me of. Um, I feel like you know, running the, through the field. Those in the real daisies. estate experts who make predictions and yes, but you know. we're more accurate. Way more. Without even without his prediction glasses. <laughs> if this is the first time you are on real estate news, you can use. We are a video and audio podcast about anything concerning real estate. What Keith and I do is pick three articles uh, that are most relevant to uh, what's going on in the industry, and uh, talk about them on this podcast and give our own little commentary and provide them on renewsyoucanuse dot com for your own enjoyment. Wow, that sounds like a pretty good show. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. <laughs> gotta, gotta watch that, man. Um, let's go. Let's hit it up with the first one. All right. Yes, PMI Group predicts lower housing prices for the next two years. Yes, this uh, this article from RealtyTimes.com uh, actually compares metropolitan statistical areas, MSAs, if you will. MSA, metropolitan statistical areas. And uh, I was. I don't know. I'm kind of quite alarmed by this uh, by this prediction, Keith, because you know you predict that you know, prices are going to go up again um, next year. And I do predict saying, that that's going to happen. Saying in two, they're saying over the next two years it's going to be going. But you do have to remember uh, the market is local. You know, it even says that at the very end, PMI insurance. Oh, so you ta- were you just talking about Boston? Yeah, I was talking. Well, I was talking about nationally. I think nationally the numbers are going up. I think we've seen numbers already that. Transactions have started to pick up, and as transactions start to pick up, so don't the uh, prices start to pick up over time. So I do, I do believe that the market is going to change a little bit faster than what this mm-hmm. uh, article predicts. So we'll have to see if I'm right, and I think I will be right. There's so many things going on, Ruben, that that um, you know, it's almost like the it's called the butterfly effect. Little changes that are going on are going to affect things. This is a snapshot of what they see. Right. What they don't see is what's going on with the Bush administration and different changes that they're implementing uh, to avoid foreclosures. So uh, I do believe that this article is uh, wrong. It may be right based on to a snapshot, but based on the variables that are not included in here, right. I think they're going to be wrong. Well, it says right here the risk ranks uh, the highest risk for cities, or maybe the high, they the ones they target the most yeah. are... Um, the usual suspects, Las Vegas, Orlando, Phoenix, uh, San Diego, Tampa, and Miami, among others. And Los Angeles. You missed that Angeles. one. But that's okay. We'll forgive you on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, check so it out on rnewsyoucanuse.com for more details. Wow. That just flew like Second a Second article from um, RIS Media is the Bush administration to expand mortgage help for struggling families. The government trying to do even again, more. Again, 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 again. Just what I was talking about in that previous article. The administration is going to continue to do more things and more things and more things. And as they continue to do more things, it's like a slow ship turning around. And once it starts to turn, it's no stopping it. And it's going to be like a steamship going forward, Ruben. And that's what's going to drive the prices from going up because they're going to do too much. They've already started to do too much in my mind. So if they started now and it hasn't been, it's not over yet. Yeah. So the administration is going to continue to do more things because it's a political year that they don't really necessarily need to do, and it's going to change. Uh, people are going to be up in arms when they say, I can't buy that house now. Right. No, with the, uh, well, what program they specifically talk about in this article is FHA Secure. Yes. And uh, these two things that kind of made me, uh, made this article pretty interesting is that uh, obviously FHA, FHA Secure started last September. Yes. Um, and they, you know, they added more. They basically, they basically made it easy, easier to be eligible for FHA loans, but right. what they are trying to expand FHA Secure is uh, to e- expand it into people who actually miss their mortgage payments. Um, that says here two consecutive months, or maybe even three consecutive months. Right. That's something not even unheard of. Right. I mean, 
basically with FHA programs is was usually like if you had a mortgage late, you're done. Well, see, the problem, you know? the problem with this, this uh, whole concept uh, is that they're talking about more about repayments again. And uh, I'll give you an example about the repayments uh, that we talked about earlier with the, uh, a person. Um, it's an actual story. There's a person that, uh, we, that uh, your brother, as a matter of fact, has been working with. He purchased a house for $500,000. It's now worth $400,000. The bank wants to work with them to stay in the house. Right. And by working with them, they've provided them with a five and a quarter percent rate. But with all the penalties and everything with the repayment plan, they're saying that you, the new loan is now going to be at $620,000. So basically Ooh. the guy's saying, why should I live in a house that I'm paying six, a $620,000 loan and it's only worth $400,000? So he's not going to go with the plan and he's going to go into a short sale and get, rid of, get, get out of there and leave. Because yeah, that's the problem with the repayment loans. But this article also talks about that they believe that this is going to help an additional 550,000 people right. avoid it, foreclosures. It did say that. It did say nice. that. Nice. Right. The so current plan has helped 150, and they think this new plan is going to help an additional 500, which is nice. I so like hopefully, hopefully it's time. true. Hopefully that's true. Hopefully it's true. Hopefully it's true. Well, you know, like I said, like you said, the government's trying to do what they can, and uh, you know, that's why your prediction conflicts with our first article, but we'll see right I think I'm well we'll see if I'm right again I know our next article comes I kind of feel like Simon on uh, American Idol just want to say I'm right again <laughs> I hate to say I told you so right uh, our next article comes from CNNMoney.com the big risk in the foreclosure fix yeah I just love how these articles flow <laughs> um, so basically uh, you know what they're saying in this article is that FHA programs during the housing boom, only accounted for seven percent of the loans given. Now it's almost <laughs> all of them. <laughs> now it's probably ninety-three percent of the right. loans given. Right. Uh, what this article is saying is that with such a change and in an influx of new borrowers, uh, they're worried that the FHA, or obviously government-backed programs, uh, are not going to be able to handle it. Right. And, and it's going to blow up a little bit, and if it blows up, it's going to affect. Taxpayers. Your pocket and my pocket. Your pocket and my pocket, no. My pocket and your pocket. <laughs> I'm a very bad pointer. It'll affect your pocket more. Um, no, but definitely. I mean, in a general sense, yes. Uh, if the government's going to do more, obviously taxpayers are going to feel right. it. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, so and uh, So be careful. This, this, I think this is, this is the first article I've seen of this, so I think that uh, there may be more of these coming. Like, I told you so. Now the FHA is having some problems here. Um, we need to bail it out. We need to fix it. So um, let's see what happens. It says currently the agency backs $385 billion in mortgage loans, um, but it could double in the coming year. Yeah, ouch. Imagine if some of those go bad. Uh, imagine. <laughs> I don't want to imagine. <laughs> imagine if, you know, imagine if, you know, your imagine business, your real people. estate business doubled. Over the, over the next year. I mean, That'd how, be awesome. Imagine how busy you'd be. I know. I'd, I might sell a house this year. <laughs> no, but seriously, you know, I mean, it's, it's a Zero times problem. zero is zero, isn't it? Yeah, but all these, all these, <laughs> <laughs> all these government, government backed programs that, like, you know, we've been talking about over the past 50 episodes. Yeah. Um, have the same risk. And like you said, I am very surprised this is the first time it's come up. Yeah. Or maybe you know an article focused on it yeah well we'll, we'll see what happens hopefully it uh, won't blow up and it's just hearsay just hearsay if you want to check out the full article go to re news you can use yeah re news you can use that's the name of the website yeah i forgot that's the one <laughs> um there are uh, we're, we're, we're trying to well that's the news guys <laughs> um, streamline we're trying to uh, improve our website, and we're actually looking for people to uh, contribute, contribute, and be affiliates for our for our program, our ever growing program. So, if you do want to be uh, a commentator, we're going to obviously being uploading uploading more episodes, and obviously we'd like to hear from uh, you guys. Most of our most of our public right now is coming from our RSS feeds. Right, right. But we definitely would like to have okay. more. Come visit our website. website and contribute to our uh, program, and uh, we'll we'll change our program to meet what you're looking for. Right. Make it a great day. That's my line. Oh. Thanks. Make it a bad day. And make it a great day. <laughs>